Okay. Um, war. Good morning, St. Peter's. We are looking at chapter 7 of Revelation, verses 1 to 8. And believe it or not, it's a war. It's about a war. Listen to what it says here. I heard the number of those who were sealed. 144,000 from every tribe. And then he goes into every tribe. 12,000 from this tribe, 12,000 from that tribe, 12,000 from the next tribe, uh, and so on from the 12 tribes of Israel. John's talking about those who are sealed as God's people. So the message today from Revelation 7, 1 to 8 is on restraining judgment. People may ask and may say, why doesn't God just wipe out all evil? What is he waiting for? Why doesn't he take care of it finally and fully? Well, the answer is in the passage today. The reason why, it says in verses 1 to 3, John sees four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, restraining the four winds so that no wind could blow on the earth or the sea or any other tree. That is, God has brought not brought full and final judgment. He's restraining it and holding it back because of his mercy. But for one reason, and one reason only, it says in verse 2, I saw another angel rising up and he cried in a loud voice, Don't harm the earth or the sea or the trees. That is, restrain judgment until we seal all the servants of God. God is holding back judgment and final and full judgment. He's awaiting more and more people to come to know him, that more would have the seal on their forehead, that is the name of Jesus, that is bound and connected to Jesus, and they would be servants of God. And then he talks about the 12 tribes which have 12,000 sealed. It's symbolic language of those who have been sealed by God. And it's a war Because what you would do with a war is you would often take a census before a war to see how many people you had. And here we're taking a census, 144,000 before the war. Uh, And the war will come up throughout Revelation again and again and again. But we'll see that God's people are called to a war that is quite different from what they might expect. It's not a call to arms, but it's a different kind of war. And so... In chapter 7, verses 1 to 8, we see this morning maybe that question that sometimes many of you have asked. Why does God not just destroy evil and get rid of evil? The answer is he's waiting to bring more and more people into his kingdom and have more and more people that are sealed until the final full number of those who will rejoice with God, who will worship him, and who will be at the center of the universe uh, at the end. So that's that's the reading for today. Um, And we'll see more tomorrow on this great multitude that is before God's throne. People from all nations and tribes, languages and peoples, so many that none can number. And so whether you're watching this from whatever nationality you are or wherever you're from, know that Jesus cuts across all cultures and he is for you because of what he's done. Uh, It's not connected to custom or food or culture or anything like that. Jesus has died the death that all of us deserve through whether it's judgment or shame or whatever we have done and we can stand before the throne of God worthy and with honour and glory because of what Jesus has done. We'll see more on those sealed tomorrow.